Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a bodysuit out of scratch, out of nothing. The thing is, I had this nice bodysuit in my wardrobe and I love the shape and how it fit and the ruffle there. And I also had 12 meters of fabric that I don't know what to use for. Fabric, tons of fabric, a lot of fabric. For this tutorial, all you're going to need is a bodysuit or a swimsuit or even a t-shirt and some panties. So we have the design, we have the fabric, that's it. Are you ready? Let's get started. The first thing you have to do is take a piece of paper and draw the shape of the bodysuit or swimsuit that you want to make. If the bodysuit is stretchy, don't forget to stretch it all the way and then draw it stretched so you have the actual size of the piece of fabric that you need. Since the top part of this bodysuit is a straight line, I'm using the edge of the paper. After drawing the shape all around the bodysuit, mark the middle of the bottom and the middle of the top part and make a straight line. Cut it out and now we have the pattern, which is actually half of the bodysuit. Place the half pattern on the piece of fabric that you want to use, draw the shape Flip it around and draw the other side. Before cutting it, remember to leave some centimeters for seam allowance. I'm leaving four, which is a lot, but we can cut it later. Cut it, and this is gonna be the front part. For the back piece, we need to do exactly the same. So you can repeat the process with the newspaper or just place the piece of fabric that we already cut and draw around it. Now that we have the two pieces, we are going to put them together, the right side facing the right side. And we are going to pin them. Now we are going to sew these sides with the sewing machine. But if you're a disaster like me, I recommend you to hand sew it first. And then sew it with the machine. After sewing this part with the machine, we can cut a bit of the seam allowance that we left, because it's a lot. And now we are going to make a zigzag stitch, but we are not going to sew this together. We are going to make a zigzag stitch all around the edge of the fabric. When you finish, cut the threads and this is how it looks like. Now stop. If you have a stretchy fabric, you can skip this step and go directly to mini number nine. If your fabric is not stretchy, then we have to put an elastic and just go on watching. In my case, I'm not going to use an elastic, but anyway, I will do it so you can see the process. Are you ready? Okay, then let's continue. Take the elastic and fold the fabric like this, making sure that it's wide enough for the elastic to fit inside. 
pin it together, do this all around the fabric. And it's really important that you leave this bottom part open. Now as always, if you're a disaster, if you're not sure, you can sew it by hand and then with the machine or directly with the machine. See, it's really important that you leave this bottom part open. And once it's sewn, cut the thread, take it out. And now, my friends, comes the difficult part. Cut the elastic the size of the bodysuit and stretch it. In my case, it's 21 centimeters. Take a safety pin, pin the elastic, And now slide it inside, just go sliding the elastic inside all the way through the fabric until it comes out through the other side. After three years doing this, you finally cut it. Now just pull the fabric and to the other side. Again, pin the elastic, slide it inside until it comes to the other side. And now you just have to pull the fabric until you have a little piece of elastic like this. Fold it down and pin it together in a way that you are pinning the elastic and the fabric together. Do the same with the other side. Pull the fabric until you see only a little piece of the elastic. Do this really slowly because if the elastic goes inside the fabric again, it's gonna be a nightmare. So just pull the fabric until you have only a little piece of elastic and now fold it down and pin it together with the fabric. Now you can directly sew it with the machine. Cut the threads, take away the pins, and we have it! This is how it looks like with the elastic. Now we have to put the closure. How do you call that? Now, people who didn't put the elastic may go on from this point, because it's exactly the same with elastic or without. You can buy this in any shop, but I'm actually going to use this thing is from an old bra that I had over around there. So I'm gonna cut them. Sew them in place first by hand. and then with the machine.
You should actually use a similar color to the fabric, but I'm going to use black just so you see better. So now just turn your bodysuit inside out. This is how it looks like without the elastic, because my fabric is stretchy, so I'm not gonna use elastic. Now to make it fit better, just try it on and sew these lines a bit smaller, depending on if it's too big for you or not. And to give it a nice shape, just make this round shape to the sides. Now we're going to make a zigzag stitch here, around these leaves. And it's time to make the ruffle! For the ruffle, take a piece of fabric and now we're going to make a rectangle shape. Mine is going to be 1 meter long for 22 centimeters wide, but we need to make two squares because it's going to be 2 meters of ruffle. To simplify it, just make the first line 1 meter and then measure 22 centimeters, 22 centimeters, 22 centimeters, then the second line and now again 22 centimeters, 22 centimeters and the third line. Once you have everything we're going to cut all three lines. The first line, the second, the third, and now cut the side. There we go, we have two rectangles. Now we're going to sew them together. So just face the front side with the front side, pin it together, and we're going to make a zigzag stitch in this line in both sides of the fabric. Good, looking good already. Now we're going to make a zigzag stitch all around one side of the ruffle. It's a lot of fabric guys, so this is going to take some time, but it's really easy. And I can tell you it's worth it. So, this is the edge that we saw. Take the two pieces of the ruffle and fold them in half. And now we're going to mark that half with two pins. One here. And one here. Now open it and that's going to be the middle part. Take your bodysuit and we're going to mark also the half from the top part. So fold it in half. Pin it in the middle. Take the other side, fold it in half and pin it in the middle. Now fold it inside out and take the right side and the right side and we are going to put the 
middle parts together. So the middle part of the bodysuit with the middle part of the ruffle. And once you have the middle of both, just pin the rest of the ruffle to the bodysuit. Now do the same in the back part. Find the middle of the ruffle, put it together with the middle of the bodysuit, pin it together and now pin the rest of the ruffle to the bodysuit. And now we're going to repeat the process of sewing a zigzag stitch all around. Some parts are going to be on the ruffle and some parts are going to be ruffle with the bodysuit. When you have to join the bodysuit to the ruffle, don't forget to take the pins out and stretch the fabric really well. This is how it looks like. It looks a bit weird, but trust me, it's gonna look amazing in the end. So now we need another piece of elastic and we're going to repeat the process. Just fold the fabric like this. Make sure it's wide enough for the elastic to fit inside and pin it all around the fabric. Once it's pinned all around the fabric, we're going to use it in the sewing machine, but this time I'm going to make a normal stitch. Sew it all around, but leave one space open of about 5 cm because we are going to put an elastic inside. To cut the elastic, put it around your arms in a way that's stretchy enough to hold the fabric, but not too tight to make you feel uncomfortable. Now, my friends, the nightwear is back. Pin the elastic with a safety pin and slide inside the fabric all the way through until it comes out to the other side. And now just take both sides of the elastic, put one over the other and sew it with the machine. We did it! Now just pull the fabric around the elastic until you're happy with the shape and it's done! Time to try it on! So guys, this is the result. As you can see, it's really elegant but also really sexy. But um, we are supposed to wear this with some clothes, so... Um, the good thing about this is that you can style it with jeans and sneakers or make it more elegant. And it looks freaking good! So guys, that was all for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, everything. <laughs> And don't forget that if you have any questions, any problems during the process or even requests, 
you can always hit me at in the comments below or in my Instagram, Maeve Batley. And see you in the next video. Bye bye. Shape and the. Do you call this shape? Springs here, springs here, springs here.